In this video, we will discuss about different internet threats. With that, let us start by defining malicious software or simply known as malware. Malware is designed to damage device, steal data, and generally cause a mess with your computer system. Malware is often created by a team of hackers, usually to earn money, either by spreading malware themselves or selling it to the highest bidder on the dark web. However, there can be other reasons for creating malware too. It can be used as a tool for protest, to destroy security, or even as weapons of war between government. So, let us enumerate the different types of malicious software. The first one we have is virus. Virus keeps your device from functioning normally. It damages your program, deleting files or reformatting the hard drive. You can pick up computer viruses through sharing files with other users, visiting infected sites, opening spam emails, downloading free games, or installing software. Second type of virus is known as worm or computer worm. Primary difference between virus and worm is that viruses must be triggered by activation of host, whereas worm are standalone or does not require any human intervention. Once a worm enters their system, usually via network, it can run then and self-replicate. Noong May 5, 2000, almost 10 million Windows personal computers were infected by a computer worm. It was created by a 24-year-old Filipino. It is referred to as I love you worm or love bug. It start spreading as an email message with the subject line I love you and an attachment love letter for you that text that VBS. It leads users to think na ito ay isang normal na text file lamang. The worm inflicts damage on device, overwriting types of files. It spread much faster than any other previous email worm. The third one is spyware. Spyware is the with the help of this malware, hackers can gain access to your personal information and use it to steal your money files, and even your identity. Ito ay mas naging posible through keyloggers, kung saan nire-record nito ang lahat ng informations and keystrokes na tinatype natin sa ating keyboard. Next one we have is adware. Displays advertisements. Malicious adware takes control of your browser to track your activity, show you deceptive apps, ads and redirect you to suspicious websites. Kung napansin mo ang bilang pagbagal ng iyong browser or you are bombarded with pop-up ads urging you to install a software update or taking you to weird websites, then your computer may be infected with adware. Next one is what we call Trojan. Trojan disguised as a useful program but once downloaded or installed, leaves your PC unprotected. Halimbawa, yung mga Trojan that acts like an antivirus software. Once na ginamit mo ito to scan your device for a possible virus, it will demand money from you to detect and remove threats. Minsan, meron ding mga emails na akala mo from a legitimate person, pero ang totoo ay meron mga attachment that will all only get your personal and sensitive information or pwede rin na mga attachment that can uh, damage your device once na install mo ito. The next one is spam which is commonly known as unsolicited email. Bakit nga ba problema ang mga spam? It is because spam eats up a lot of network bandwidth at kadalasan ang mga hackers ay gumagamit ng email to send you threats and deceive you. Kaya iwasang mag-reply sa mga emails na hindi mo kilala kung saan galing, pati ang pag-open ng mga attachments nito. Last one we have is phishing. 
from the term phishing o pangingisda, ito ay isang paraan upang kunin ang ating mga sensitive informations katulad ng credit card and bank account details. Ang phishing ay isang pag-atake gamit ng mga disguised emails. Ang goal nito ay to deceive recipients into believing na yung mga message is something you need like a request from a bank or a certain company. Ito yung mga emails na akala mo from a legitimate bank pero manghihingi sa'yo ng mga credit card or bank account details mo. Kaya, wag agad-agad magbibigay ng mga personal informations. Ang phishing ay maaari ding mangyari sa pamamagitan ng mga text messages. Makakareceive ka ng mga text message na nagsasabi na kailangan nung ibigay ang mga PIN, passwords, credit card details mo. Pero ang totoo, ito ay isang trick para makuha ang mga sensitive informations mo. So, those are different types of malicious software. In our next discussion, we'll be, we will be discussing about copyright law and copyright infringement. Thank you!